Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome GBTA Chief Operating Officer and Executive Director, Scott Solombrino. Welcome everyone. How's Tuesday been so far? I hope everybody's having a great morning. We still have so much to bring you, including Andy Cohen, who's in the house. And tomorrow, Andy's here, just talk to him, and Ashley Judd. This is a great year for us, and our Chicago Convention, in many ways, is one of our best ever. But, of course, it's also a bittersweet GBTA as well. This is the last year that we'll have the amazing Crystal Johnson as our president. Crystal has been with GBTA for many years, and gratefully, she'll remain on the board in a different position when her term is filled. But it's her time with us as president that I want to talk about for a moment. Crystal's leadership has been marked by substantial growth in this organization. Her initiatives in education, global expansion, pro-social engagement have set a standard of excellence here at GBTA that her successes will have a hard time living up to. That alone is an excellent legacy. Her work with WinIT speaks for itself, creating opportunities for women to network with each other to increase their visibility and their industry benefits not only helps everyone, but it helps all women's experience. Crystal also saw an opportunity to use GBTA's voice to empower organizations like ECPAT, whose mission is to combat human trafficking aligns with GBTA's mission to elevate the global business travel industry. Do we not have enough time and energy or resources for such a cause? Crystal's answer was, unmistakably, yes, we do. Crystal has served her position with the passion, empathy, and vision. Her mark has been made, and as we head into the future, this organization will lean heavily on the foundation that she has built. Now, please join me in welcoming our president and our friend, Crystal Johnson. I am very pleased with how convention is going and thrilled to see the people I've bumped into along the way this week. GBTA is something that has been near and dear to my heart for a very long time, 43 years long. We have been talking about the idea of evolving as our theme for 2019. This association must constantly do it because its members, its buyers, its professionals are constantly being asked in their own life to do it as well. Tomorrow's GBTA is going to be very different than today's as technology will continue to drive us further and further along until, well, we get to teleportation. And then we're all going to be out of a job, even the ride-sharing people. Every day, new roles and responsibilities are created for travel buyers. New security needs must be implemented and managed. Consumer needs must be addressed, and we must all do it instantaneously. The world is not going to stop and wait for anyone to figure it out. You've heard us say it before, but the fact remains, education is a priority at GBTA. We have a program to be proud of, but we're not satisfied. We're going to work to make it even better. 
Our convention has over 7,000 attendees and is the largest, most comprehensive annual convention for business travel professionals anywhere in the world, and you have yourself to thank for it. We don't throw around, and I quote, the business travel event of the year title, end quote, because it's catchy. In 2020, we'll be in London with our partners at ITM, following up from our successful international showcase earlier this year. We will be evolving the event into a bigger and better joint strategic management event. We want all of you in this room in London. We will also reintroduce the Masters, a C-level event in the spring of 2020 in Washington, D.C. The event will be GD GBTA's first hosted buyer event, giving everyone an opportunity to interact with some of our industry's most high-level executives. To all the C-level executives sitting at these tables, you better get in quickly because it's already ready to be sold out. And later this year, GBTA will be hosting the GBTA Win It Gala on November 7th in New York City. At the gala, we'll be hosting an awards program like no other. Please take the time and nominate a company or individual who has gone above and beyond in their career driving both mobility and gender parity. In addition to those new events, I am really happy to announce a new global partnership with Cvent to help enhance the GBTA experience. And I want to take a moment to say thank you to Reggie Agarwal because Reggie has been nothing but helpful to GBTA and this is going to be a very strong and beneficial partnership for us to advance our technology capabilities here at GBTA. GBTA is also planning to grow our membership through an appeal to industry professionals. We're creating new verticals, such as personal assistant verticals, strategic sourcing verticals, procurement verticals, meeting verticals, just to name a few. GBTA has no choice but to broaden our appeal over the next decade. Another job that we take seriously is our advocacy. We pride ourselves at being the voice of global business travel and using our membership to help influence outcomes in Washington, D.C. and in Europe, and we do it on a regular basis. As many of you may know, this past month in Washington, GBTA stopped, and you heard me, we stopped an increase in the 9-11 security fee that would have cost passengers $22 billion over 10 years. That's $22 billion to all your companies. And we killed it. This is one example of this organization fighting on your behalf. GBTA is about membership. It wouldn't exist without all of you in this room. It's because we are made up of volunteers that we understand our members' needs. I am here because I am one of you. As executive director, I also understand who needs to write the check and why I've got those numbers right here on my smartphone. And when I don't have the numbers that I need to really pull something out of thin air, I then break out the flip phone. And the numbers just happen to appear. There it is, the secret source of my power. More of your colleagues need to be involved at GBTA, in committees, in chapters. When your colleagues become members, they can take advantage of all that we offer. So let me ask you a question. Is something missing from our program? Because if it is, let me know. Because guess what? I'm an insider. I can fix what's going on within EBTA, GBTA, and I can also grow what we want to do better. We are a community, and with such a need we have to communicate and share our ideas better. Call me at the office, and if you can't get me there,
please don't hesitate to call on the flip phone. Thank you very much for coming today and enjoy the show.